we uh, invested in a two-part foam rig after having used several hundred canisters. We're not only adding insulation, we're doing a lot of air sealing work. So we would like to get that dual outcome work done before we start doing smaller, more time consuming air sealings. In my opinion, it's the only solution in below floor weatherization. You, in a lot of houses, you get the same blower door reduction with foaming the crawl space as you do with dense backing walls. I've seen um, anywhere from 300 to 1300 CFM reductions foaming crawl spaces. You really get a tremendous benefit. Not only do you air seal, but you bring the ductwork inside the thermal boundary. You no longer have duct losses. You no longer have cold air under the house. It's just a almost a threefold situation where it really really benefits the house in an energy standpoint. It does what ductwork and silicone caulk can't. We're getting ready to put down a technical term would be a vapor diffusion retarder. Most people call it just a vapor barrier. Six mil visqueen. We're going to put that down to keep uh, water vapor from kind of percolating up through the soil. I'm going to leave about six inches of it lapped up the side of the block wall and then when we foam we're going to tack that to the wall with the foam so that we have a nice good seal there. We've already gone in and cleaned out some of the debris right here at the uh, opening just so we can get in and out easier. The hardest part about this is just working around all the obstacles in the crawl space. The duct work, there's a little bit of underpainting down here holding up some of the floor joists. Once we get it out, it should open up pretty evenly. All right, I think we're about ready to foam. I'll throw my respirator on when we get down there. The last part of getting ready to set up the spray is turning the gun on and getting this live. The two chemicals stay separate all the way till the mix chamber, which is inside the gun here. We've got two valves right here that we're going to open up. But the first thing we've got to do is hook up our air supply. This is uh, an air purge gun. It, uh, Whenever I'm not spraying, the air will evacuate the chemical from the spray nozzle in here and keep it from setting up so that we don't have to change tips like in uh, disposable kits and we should be ready to go. That's a lot better. Alright, we're going to open our valve and the gun will be live. First, let's check and make sure our trigger is locked. It is. The resin side is open. The ISO side is open. We're ready to get in the crawl and spray some foam. Let me get my respirator on and we'll get in.